My first question is, in any crime needs, needs a motive. Who needs these billions of dollars? Right, I, I'm going to admit, I feel, I, I, ha, I feel slightly sorry for Najib. Um, because, you know, he was due... Well, I don't really because of the things he's done, but uh, he was he was due to lose 2013. After 60 years of continuous rule by BN, it was almost, you know, if, if the democratic process had been allowed to take the slightest normal course, of course, you know, at some stage, BN was going to have to lose an election. Well, Najib didn't want to be the one. You know, um, his dad had been prime minister, his uncle had been prime minister. He'd been, you know, he'd really been lobbying for that job for a very long time. Um, and he'd learnt at the knee of, uh, you know, the wor world's most corrupt party, UMNO, so he knew all the dirty tricks. Um, he was darned if he was going to get into power and then have to, you know, lose an election in a couple of years after that. So his absolute first priority when he got into power, I mean, the 1MDB scam was about funding, excuse me, the 213 election. And uh, he needed a mass of money to win it, he reckoned, um, you know, because come to the worst, you know, he could just throw money at this election. So that was the motive. Um, of course, he's got a very greedy wife who, who you know, um, and, and um, took a lot of it for Hermes handbags and anti-aging treatments, and you know, she'll have to, help, yeah, you could sue the doctor, couldn't you? Um, but um, she, you know, and, and they, they, they've thrown that money around personally. Um, but it was about winning the election. Something very interesting, actually. I mean, he took in that extra seven hundred million into his bank account. He already he went up to over a billion uh, just before the election. So he was just taking in another seven hundred million uh, that March before he called the election. He feared he might win. I mean, lose. Um, I mean, they you know they gerrymandered and they threw money at it. But he was worried he would lose. Even so. And so he needed the real money in case he needed to buy over opposition MPs after the election. Um, I, I, you know, he was relieved he didn't have to do that, and he shipped 620 million back out and closed down the account after the election to, to Singapore. Uh, you know, where it went to that Tanor account again. Um, Singaporeans, I think, have frozen some of that. <laughs>